Is the Google Pixel 4 a good gaming phone? Yes, I've been asked that question several times. So the only way to test it is to um, play some games and test it. So today, what I'm gonna do is run through a couple of high powered games that require a lot of resources, set it to the highest possible setting. And let's see how the Google Pixel 4 handles it. If you wanna know if this is a good gaming device, don't worry, I got you. Let me show you what you need to know. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Tech Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadget apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. Alrighty, kicking off our list of games is PUBG. Let's go into settings, let's go into graphics. And at the top, I'd like to choose Ultra HD, but it still says coming soon. So my only option is HDR, let's set it to that. Under the frame rate, let's go to the extreme, to the max. And as we scroll further down, we're going to select under the styles, we're going to select movies. And scroll further down, we'll make sure anti-alien is enabled. Want those smooth textures, but it will eat up more of my battery. Shadows are enabled. Okay, everything else we're going to leave exactly as the default. Okay, now that that's done, let's get some gameplay to see what's going on. What we're basically looking for is smoothness of the game. I want to see whether we're going to have any stutter, whether we're going to have any frame loss, how smooth is the panning and running around PUBG as I'm getting shot and killed for this review. Oh, there's a dude. Let's just go grab him quickly. Snipe it. Well, all right, there we go. Didn't even need to snipe this guy. Um, you can, oh, I'm still getting shot. What's going on? I'm trying to do a review, damn it. Okay. Um, yeah, as you can see, the quality is definitely, definitely there. The game is pretty good. And even when I've played for quite a long period of time, it actually heats up a little bit, but not to the point where you're kind of thinking, oh, something is absolutely up. Okay, there's my other dude. It's okay. I mean, if, as you can see, fairly... Oh, hey, hey, hold it. One more, one more, one more. Got it. Okay, cool. Well, this was a team effort. He took the first shot. I got the second. Right, next up, let's check one of my favorite games, which is Call of Duty. I love Call of Duty on the PS4. Let's see how the Google Pixel 4 will handle Call of Duty as well. Let's fire up the game, go through all this, blah, blah, blah. Next, next, next. We want to get into the settings, right? In the settings, audio and graphics, click on graphics, and I'm going to set absolutely everything to the maximum. Graphic quality, very high. Frame rate, very high. I'm going to enable absolutely everything. Depth of field, bloom, real-time shadow, ragdoll, anti-aliasing, and even make the graphic style as realistic. Anything else down here? Let's just check. No, let's auto-adjust, leave that exactly as it is. Okay, this is the max. Now, how is this on gameplay? Let's find out. Right, once again, I'm frantically getting shot as I'm trying to review this, but look at this. This is just... Wow. Uh, I mean, this is really, really impressive. Okay, hold on. Wait, two dudes snuck up behind you. All right, ninja style there. So this is really, really cool. I mean, a portable gaming machine like this, the Pixel 4, to be able to have this level of detail is really, really awesome. Now, this might not be for your very, very hardcore gamer who's going to pick up every little nuances, but for most of us, yeah, uh, okay, I guess I just died. But for most of us, uh, this is just superb. Now, I will be checking for what it's going to do to the battery life as well. But as far as quality is concerned, the audio is amazing. Even though my hands, as you can see on the right-hand side, are pretty much blocking the speakers, the quality is still incredible. But realistically, I would have a Bluetooth headphone then. I mean, I would normally game with a wired headphone, but you cannot do that on the Google Pixel 4 because they've taken away the headphone jacks. No, why do you do that? Um, I will say no frame loss, no stutter, no lag. I, I, I'm just ridiculously impressed by the way the Pixel 4 is actually handling such a game. I've had problems with this on other devices. This just looks absolutely rad. Let me know what you guys think in the comment below. Don't comment about my game change. This is just for this review. But let me know anyway. And now for something a little bit different. This is Asphalt 9. Let's go into settings. Let's go into game settings sound and display and at the bottom visual quality hit that to performance let's go back into the gameplay and see what that looks like 
Now, again, one more time, this is for us casual gamers. This is not for league speciality people, although I would be interested to know if you are in that level of gamer, what do you think of the Pixel 4? Let me know in the comments below as well. Now, as far as the battery life is concerned, remember the Google Pixel 4 does have a 2,800 milliamp hour battery. It does mean that this will take a hammering when you have all these settings and very high definitions, pretty loud music. Uh, you're probably going to lose 30-40% of your battery whilst you're playing these games. On the plus side, it does have fast charging, so you should be back up to 100% in no time. I absolutely dig playing on the Pixel 4 wherever I had a moment. I would love to know what you guys think. Check out some of these other cool videos on the side here. Hit the head below to subscribe if you're new here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you in those videos. Let's do this.